are we sailing to? We got a good wind today? Yeah, I think so. What's the worst thing about sailing? There's only a good thing? That's a lie. <laughs> the heat. The heat. Uh, the stickiness. The food. The crew. <laughs> what do you like best about sailing? If we catch a fish. Just fishing. Fishing's the best thing you like about sailing. We're sailing around the world and you like to fish. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, to arrive, to arrive, right. right? Yeah, there's like many accomplishments every time you set the anchor. This there. was a good day sailing, but it's funny how quickly things can change sailing in the tropics. So, what was happening? There's a squall coming. A huge squall coming. just picked up about a minute ago. You can see about a half mile out. Are you nervous? I'm a little nervous. Approaching Wolai, and Andy still has his late morning coffee. Right? Yeah. <laughs> How was the passing for you? Alright. Tired? No. You did may not have been tired, but I sure was, which made navigating the entrance of the atoll extremely difficult. In addition, the charts were approximately 400 yards off for this island, which made them unusable leaving to navigate only by eye. Go where? I don't think so. With Yudid as my spotter on the bow, we safely navigated the shallow waters of Woolei, setting the hook in a nice sandy bottom. However, soon after we anchored, it was readily apparent that Woolei would be like no other island we had visited. Alright, so describe what happened today. A lot. It's a good island. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we went and met, met with the chiefs, right? Oh yeah. How'd that go? How no, was it? You, you talk this time. <laughs> I can't talk. So you describe what happened today. Okay, so we went and met with the chiefs. Uh, one guy was like, I think 124 years old, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he was oh, you older. <laughs> super old. Um, and then there's another chief, both named Francis, to keep it easy, I guess. And, but uh, yeah, it was it was really formal, um, kind of intimidating. Uh, mm -hmm. Sitting with like all the other, I guess, guys on the island. But uh, yeah, it turned out to be like the best island. I think I think the best island we've been. You did think. The lagoon of Puluwa. Yeah, the right? lagoon of Puluwa is yeah. like definitely the most beautiful. But I mean, you look at this is the high school, and like this is That's like the a, view. Yeah, this is where they eat lunch at. So, and then we were greeted by all the high school, and they gave us a lei and I don't uh, another flower crown. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you call those. 
Um, but yeah, I think really nice. Yeah, and we gave them the letters. Yeah, Some and we delivered all it. the letters to all of the family members here. And yeah, I think this will be like our best island. And there's so many boobies. There's so many. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Cheers. No. Here you did is sampling the local alcoholic drink called tuba. It's made daily from the sap of the palm trees on the island and can be quite strong. The men congregate daily in the afternoons to drink and socialize. And although women are not allowed to drink, they made an exception for her this time. This was Sunday mass held at the only church on the island. As you can see, the culture is quite different from the other islands that were only a few hundred miles away. Previously on the island of Lucanor, we were required to dress in our formal attire in order to attend mass, but here it's quite opposite. In fact, the wearing of shirts or pants for both men and women is frowned upon on the island. Judith and I befriended a local family on the island who decided to give her a full like island makeover, outfitting her with a handmade lava lava and presenting her with a beautiful flower lay. So Judith's giving the customary hair coming <laughs> before the lay. been presented with the leg. Looks good. Looks good? Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing today? Uh, we go to the school. <laughs> For what? Um, to make a presentation. Is it high have you been to a high school like this? <laughs> no, never. Yeah, so we're giving a presentation, I guess, about our travels, um, just being like distinguished guests here. Um, we'll see how it yeah. goes. Um, so while I was in the military, um, I actually was afforded the opportunity to travel a lot and surf. I don't know if you guys surf here, but. Judith and I talked about our background, including both our scholastic and previous career endeavors. And at the end of the presentation, we showed the class our latest YouTube video, which they all thoroughly enjoyed. So how did you like our presentation? I think it was good. Right? Yeah, I thought it was the uh, probably one of the best experiences that I've had traveling. Um, but I don't know, it's just such an honor to be able to to tell everybody about your story and how you came to be and how you came to this island. And mm -hmm. I thought the, the kids really liked it. Yeah. So Andy, what do I, are we doing right now? Uh, we're washing our clothes out of a dirty well. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it makes them drier, uh, cleaner. Uh, yeah, the water wasn't much cleaner <laughs> before that. Really? <laughs> well, at least they smell good. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes do you wish you had a washing machine? Mm. <laughs> With clean water. Here, Yudid and I are roaming through the jungle with some of the locals when we happened upon some old Japanese zeros that were shot down. Woliai was the scene of a bloody battle between the U.S. and Japan during World War II, and as such, there are war relics scattered all over the island. Oh, hey, there's like bullet holes! 
There's bu bullet holes. Yeah. Oh. Hiking through the jungle all day can take a lot out of you. Luckily, the locals were here to climb up the tree to grab some coconuts for you to deny. No, no. Oh! Ooh. How's your coconut? Thank you, guys. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Island life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are about to leave Wallet, right? Yes. And we noticed that we don't have a lot of footage from the island. How come? Uh, it's because we were having too much fun on the island. Um, we were running around all week and we both forgot to either bring our cameras or to film like what was happening. But uh, trust us, it was the greatest island. Yeah, it's incredible to make some culture, right? Totally. Um, I know a lot of you guys that are sailing are watching these uh, videos because you want to see like where you should actually go. Woolly Eye is like one of those places that like it's once in a lifetime. Um, if we didn't portray it on on this video, that's our fault. But it's actually it's the greatest. The culture was just amazing. Um, how they mixed the Western culture, but they also kept like their island culture. Um, as well, which we didn't see in a lot of the other islands. This island is completely self-sufficient. It's time to go, so let's go. Can I pull? Yeah, pull up that chain. <laughs>